Hello, I'm Rick Steves. I'm in Salzburg, and I'm on the uh, other side of the river on Linzergasse, a beautiful pedestrian-only area. And this is a cemetery by the Church of San Sebastian. And I'm with my good guide, Anna. Hello. Hello. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. And Anna was explaining to me, of course, here's where Mozart's father was buried, and his wife. Is that right? Yes. Mozart As Leopold. Well as the second husband of his wife. And this is a, a cemetery, a beautiful cemetery, built by... Uh, at the instruction of, of Wolf Dietrich, who was the prince bishop. And back then, a prince and a bishop, you'd have a religious and a secular leader all in one. And he wanted his people to be comfortable coming outside of the town, and they would peep, keep people on the outside of the town for hygienic reasons, right? It was safer to bury people and sick people would come? or uh, No, it's actually the fact is that uh, the cemetery here is uh, outside, but now it's not longer in use for since 1900 for sanitary reasons. But okay. the idea was to have his own house, his own um, mausoleum building yeah. in midst the citizens. All the citizens. So these are all the, the regular people. Yes. And right here, Wolf Dietrich, the Archbishop, and what's very cool today, we can go in, and you have to have a guide normally to go in, but the doors open, and this is, for me, very rare because we have a mausoleum, a fancy place built for a big, important, rich guy, and the tomb would be in the middle, and normally as travelers we don't see this, but right now today, We can look down and see the tomb of Wolf Dietrich, the Archbishop, who really turned Salzburg, after his studying in Rome, into sort of the, the Rome of the Alps, the, the, the Rome of, of Germany. And today, this is a great opportunity to get out and uh, better understand this amazing city, Salzburg. Happy travels.